It's your boy JR, JR Incorporated back in um, another um, video here to bring you another anime theory or anime what if. I'm going to go to anime theory though, but I'm just going to call it's a what if scenario, okay? So, you all, if you haven't seen Kono Suba, go watch that um, because that's the theory is about that before you watch the video. But, um, theor this theory I came up with what was going on through pictures from Kono Suba and it was like a picture. Uh, that I will actually use as a thumbnail um, of what, and it said what, on the side of it, it said what if uh, Eris or um, Kazuma chose um, so Matt Eris and did not meet Aqua when he died, and he chose Eris to come with him instead of Aqua. Now, here's what I see, here's what I see it happening. If that was the case, if he met Aqu Eris instead of Aqua, first of all, we haven't seen what Eris's powers are like, but I'm pretty sure he wouldn't he wouldn't have as much a problem as with fighting because let's just face it no offense to aqua and i do like aqua she's not that overall strong when it comes to fighting i mean to this day the only villain she's ever taken out has was a general well, granted it was a demon king general but it was one t it was one and it was in season two and it was the last episode so yeah um Granted, she also killed a bunch of undead people, so there's also that, but, <clears throat> but uh, and again, her, uh, being a goddess and being an arch bishop, I believe it was, um, makes her a being able to do fight against those other creatures, but, um, yeah, anyways, um, first of all, being, he probably wouldn't have a problem with Eris, because we, granted, we had never seen Eris' power set, but she probably won't have been much of a weakling, um, as Aqua is, um, one, uh, Eris wouldn't be mean to, um, Cosmo as Aqua is, and obviously probably wouldn't freak out as much as Ka Aqua did, because Aqua is, I think, just a lazy, shallow person, and, um, overall scaredy cat, and a bitch, but all, you know, she's every word in the book, I'm sorry, I mean... <laughs> Lazy, a bitch, a scaredy cat, all that. Um, Eris, uh, definitely, uh, I could see more of a romance because from the limited interactions that Cosmo has had with Eris so far in the anime, and I have the light novels here, which I'm going to be starting to read soon, um, which is which is the, basically the story, but in novelization form, which was originally how anime and manga start, so I'm... So anime, us manga usually starts as a light novel, then can transition to a manga, and then from a manga go into an anime. Or, it can go this way, light novel, automatic anime, and then ma and then later on, like, and then they'll skip no manga. Now, it depends, it has to be like a light novel has to be like, mm, like fucking good as fuck for it to be like, light novel, anime, and then, like, no manga. Like, it has to be that good. Um, but, um, or just... One company really wants to make it into an anime that bad, then you got, you know, yeah. So, where was I at? Oh, yeah. So, I could see um, them developing a relationship, a romantic relationship, in the fact that in the limited react, act, um, interactions that we have seen Cosmo have with Eris, Eris and Cosmo both seem to have romantic, uh, very compatible chemistry toward each other, um, with the fact that. Cosm um, Eris supposedly pads her breasts or her bra to make her her bust look bigger, and but from what Eric or Aqua has been telling everyone, and when every time Aqua says it in Eris's presence, Aqu uh, Eris kind of freaks out. So it mean, must mean it's true. And Cosma is saying that he doesn't mind that that's the case, and actually 
doesn't mind that they're, they're padded. Um, <clears throat> he seems to be generally able to, t he, um, he talks, I guess, more down to earth with her than, uh, Air, than he does with Aqua. And to be fair, when it comes to Aqua, when it comes to, <laughs> Eris isn't a total bitch like Aqua is. Um, Eris just is overall easier to get along with then as well. Not to mention, um, I believe that they would make a very cute, romantic, even married couple. Um, the only pro the only weird thing would be that if they're in that world, that means, well, well, if they had any children, that means their children would be demigods. So, that'd be actually pretty interesting. Like, really interesting, actually. So, yeah, um... Definitely go check out Konosuba for the, to understand this theory more. Um, honest to God, I think they, I hope they do make become a couple at some point in real in the anime, because they have such great chemistry together, and they they definitely would fit. Now, not saying that Aqua and <sighs> Cosmo don't have chemistry as well, just not as the same of chem kind of chemistry that Aqua that Cosmo and Eris have. I mean, Aqua and Cosmo are like big brother and bi little sister, or like big sister and little and little brother. They fight constantly, but at the end of the day, they get along and they love each other in a way. Where um, Cosmo and Eris could have a more like a romantic relationship because the, the, they have not seen to be fought, fought once, like, you know, like argue, argue. Um, but hopefully... In the season three, or in the future seasons, or in the light novel, they end up getting together. That's all I have for this video, guys. I hope to see you. Hope to see you next time. I will be back in um with another video in like two minutes. Let me show you how to scratch it.